This is the first circuit. Lung channel starts at the lateral corner of the chest, flows down the ventral arm at the radial aspect through the radial aspect of the wrist, through the thenar emin eminence, to end at the radial side of the thumb beside the corner of the nail, 11 points. Large intestine channel is next. Starts at the radial aspect of the index finger. Comes up the radial side of that finger through the dorsum of the hand to the dorsal arm at the radial aspect past the elbow through the shoulder and upper arm, anterior deltoid, top of the shoulder, anterior neck, comes to the face and it is the only channel to cross the midline to end beside the nose with 20 points. Stomach channel starts below the eye, makes a U shape at the face encircling the jowls up to the corner of the forehead, down the anterior neck to the supraclavicular fossa, down the chest, four sun out, down the abdomen, two sun out, to the anterior lateral aspect of the leg, down the thigh, just lateral to the knee, through the tibialis anterior at the calf, anterior ankle, flows through the dorsum of the foot to end at the lateral side of the second toe, 45 points. Spleen channel is next. Spleen channel starts at the medial aspect of the great toe, through the medial foot to the ventral leg, flowing up the central aspect of the ventral leg and thigh past the medial knee, to the abdomen, flows through the abdomen, bypassing the breast to, ten, to end at the lateral rib cage with 21 points in the sixth rib space. Circuit two, here we go. Stinky to pinky, heart channel starts in the axilla, straight down the ventral arm at the ulnar aspect, through the ulnar aspect of the wrist, through the ulnar aspect of the palm, to end at the radial side of the pinky finger beside the corner of the nail, nine points. Small intestine is next. Small intestine starts at the ulnar side of the pinky, through the ulnar edge of the hand, ulnar wrist, flows up the dorsum of the arm at the ulnar aspect, through the elbow, up the posterior arm to the posterior deltoid. At the shoulder, it makes a Z shape on the scapula. It comes up the shoulder and the neck to the corner of the jaw. It splits at the face and ends in front of the tragus of the ear with 19 points. Urinary bladder is next. Urinary bladder starts at the inner canthus of the eye, flows over the head, comes to the nape of the neck. At the nape of the neck, it splits in two, and now it flows down the back on either side of the spine in two branches, over the glutes, down the posterior leg, through the posterior knee and calf, lateral ankle bone, lateral side of the foot, to end at the lateral corner of the baby toe, 67 points. Kidney channel starts at the sole of the foot, flows up to the medial aspect of the foot, passing the medial ankle bone, where it makes a loop on the heel. Now it ascends the ventral leg at the posterior aspect, through the medial knee, through the ventral thigh. At the inguinal region, it enters the spine. The rest of the channel flows up the abdomen, just a half a sun from the midline, comes to the chest and veers out all the way to the clavicle, where it, clavicle in the first rib space where it ends two sun from the midline with 27 points. Third and last circuit, here we go. Pericardium channel starts lateral to the nipple in the fourth rib space, flows to the ventral arm at the central aspect through the ventral central forearm, through the central aspect of the wrist and palm, all the way to the tip of the middle finger 
with nine points. San Zhao Channel is next. San Zhao starts at the ulnar aspect of the ring finger, flows to the dorsum of the hand, and comes to the dorsal aspect of the arm straight up the center between the radius and the ulna. The San Zhao Channel veers towards the tip of the elbow and straight up over the olecranon, and it comes up this lateral posterior aspect of the arm to the top of the shoulder where it meets the lateral neck, up through the lateral neck at the scalenes. It comes behind the earlobe, and from there it traces the outside of the ear, comes to the front of the ear at the tragus, and now it ends at the lateral eyebrow with 23 points. Gallbladder channel is next. Gallbladder starts at the outer canthus of the eye, just beside it. It goes down to the tragus of the ear. It comes back up to the corner of the forehead, back towards the ear, then encircles the ear, ends up at the mastoid process of the temporal bone, comes back to the anterior head at the forehead, right in the center of the forehead, and now it veers back to the nape of the neck, meeting gallbladder 20 at the nape of the neck, through the top of the shoulder, and the rest is easy. It flows down the lateral aspect of the trunk, ribs, hip. It flows through the lateral aspect of the trunk, ribs, waist, hip, through the lateral thigh, through the lateral knee, lateral aspect of the calf, past the lateral ankle bone, down the dorsum of the foot to end at the fourth toe with 44 points. Lateral side of the fourth toe, 44 points. Liver channel, liver channel is next. Liver channel starts at the lateral aspect of the great toe and flows up the dorsum of the foot to the medial ankle. And now it comes up the ventral calf just off the medial edge of the tibia bone. You can feel it right there up the medial edge of the tibia bone at the ventral calf, past the medial knee, medial thigh, to the abdomen. It flows up through the abdomen, four sun out, where it ends in the sixth rib space with 14 points. That's all three circuits. That's all 12 channels. End of the flow of chi.